Good morning. It's Thursday, January 7th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, No Cannoli, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4. Paul writes, Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. If you've never had a cannoli, you've missed one culinary delight. They're shell pastries stuffed with a delicious, sweet, creamy filling laced with little fruit bits. Sometimes, when all the stars and planets align in your favor, the bakery showcase will contain some that have the shell coated in dark chocolate. These dessert treats are legendary in the Italian-American community. I had never experienced having a cannoli until I married into that bunch. (laughs) Thank you, Lord. My late father-in-law, Tony, was a master at consuming cannolis or any other kind of pastries. While we were still living in Florida in 1985, Elizabeth's mom, Sophie, passed, and Tony didn't quite know how to occupy his time. So he kept the roads hot between Port Ritchie, where he lived, and Gainesville, where we lived. He would arrive, spend a few days with us, spoiling our kids, and then hit the road, sometimes just leaving us a note in the middle of the night. But before he came to visit each time, he would call us to take orders for Italian pastries from Angelina's Bakery, the cannoli promised land. One of those calls proved that Paul's advice about saying helpful words sometimes is just out of reach for mere mortals. Tony's hearing was not spectacular. When he called, it was always a shouting match to get simply basic communication going. Whenever he called before his road trip to visit us, it was known as the cannoli call. One such call created a family code that's endured the passing of generations. Here's how it went. Tony calls and he says, I'm coming up. You want anything? Elizabeth says, Angelina's? Tony says, yeah. Elizabeth proceeded to detail the usual box full, including, of course, a half dozen cannolis. Tony says, okay, so you want angel puffs, or crescents, and cookies, and no cannoli. Elizabeth says, yes, to all of that, but we want the cannolis, too. Tony says, you want two cannolis? Elizabeth said, no, I said the cannolis, too. Tony says, that's what I said. Elizabeth said, the cannolis? Yeah, you want two. Elizabeth says, not just two. There won't be enough for everybody. Tony says, okay, so no cannolis. Elizabeth, yes, we want the cannolis too. So we're back to two cannolis. Elizabeth, dad, bring the cannolis. Tony, what? Elizabeth, the cannolis. Get a box, okay? Tony says, I'm getting the box. What do you want in it? Elizabeth says, cannolis. Bring enough for everybody. Tony says, you you don't want the cookies, just the cannolis? Elizabeth says, Dad, do you want to live in a nursing home? I'm not certain of the connection here, but several weeks later, Tony moved to Las Vegas. From that phone call to this day, when someone in our family is having a hard time understanding the communication process, it's known to us as, drumroll, no cannolis. Communication is, as the saying goes, an art as much as a science. Without good, encouraging communication, our lives are impoverished and less hopeful. It's easy to get sidetracked into taking shortcuts, thinking others surely understand what we're saying. But that is the death knell for relationship. For you today, Paul's advice is to err on the side of good and helpful. That takes patience and care for those who have trouble with communication. Anything less is, well, no cannolis. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.